Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about a tool you could use to fix your corrupted Microsoft Access data files. So it's called Stellar Repair for Access. So it's very simple to use and it's very effective when you have corruption in your files. So here's the interface right here. So I have a sample database that it happens to be corrupt. So let me see what happens when we open it here. Unrecognized database format and click OK. And then it just takes you back to the main screen there and doesn't open it for you. All right, so to use this program, you just need to go to their website and download it. And when you get there, you could also check out their installation instructions and you could read about how the program works. You could check out the features. So here's what it does. Repairs tables, link tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, modules, deleted records, relations and attachment type data, and some other things it supports, split access database, uh, search options. So you could look for objects within the repaired database file long number data type for Office 2019, works with Office 365 versions, and here are the versions of Access that it supports. And I've actually used it with Access 2021, the latest version, and it works just fine. So compatible with Windows 11 and so on. And then if you follow the guide, they have the installation procedure. Pretty simple to install, just like any other program. Uh, it tells you about the user interface, which we will be going over in a minute here. It has a ribbon and tab interface, just like Microsoft Office does. And it also tells you how you can order the software and activate it. So if you're just demoing the software, it'll repair the uh, file and let you view part of it within the program. But if you want to save the repaired database, you're going to have to buy the software. Then it also shows you how to do the process for working with the files and restoring them and repairing them. And then some frequently asked questions. Okay, so we have the uh, program open here. And as you can see here in demo mode, you could preview repaired databases uh, from the uh, program itself. Okay, so here's the uh, interface. So select database and then save database after you've repaired it. You could stop the process, show deleted records. And if you wanna see the uh, status bar and log window, then you know basic tools here, save the log, uh, update. You can find your help menu here. And then of course you wanna buy online and then once you get your activation code, you plug it in right here. All right, so we're going to select that corrupted database file by clicking on Select Database. We'll just browse to it right here on the desktop. Okay, so once we have it here, we just simply click on Repair. You can also do the Find option too if you want to have it search for database files. And you can see the status down here, so going along, doing the repair. So depending on the size of your database, that'll also determine how long it takes to repair. So this one here, 673 megabytes. All right, so we'll just pause the video and let this finish repairing and then we'll be back. Okay, so we get a message saying the selected database has been repaired successfully, so we'll click okay. Now you can see it lists the tables, forms, and reports from that database. It also shows you the path. So you can expand it here, look at the tables right from the uh, interface itself, deleted records, and expand these as well. And then for some things like forms, it tells you it's not available and you have to look at it in the save file. So if you're just doing the demo, at least you'll be able to do this to see if it's going to be able to repair your database, which it should be able to do. And then if that's the case and you want to uh, save the repaired database, you could go ahead and buy the program and then get your data back. Okay, so now that we've seen it has been repaired, we need to save the database. And then you could do the default location, which is the location we opened it from, or a new location. So we'll just do the uh, default location, put it on the desktop with the other one, because it's going to give it a different name anyways. And then you could decide if you wanna save your deleted records or not, it's checked by default. So we'll click okay. And then this process takes a few minutes too, so we'll pause the video and be back when this is done. Okay, so we got a message now saying repaired file saved successfully. So that actually took a little bit longer than the repair itself. So we'll click OK. So now we have our repaired file here, 673 megabytes, same size as the uh, one we repaired. As you can see, it just gave it a different name. It just put repaired in front of it. So now if we go to tools, we could save the log file if we want to. If we want to review it later or maybe send it in for a support ticket in case you're having some problems. Then you can name it whenever you like. We'll just put it on the desktop. 
I'm going to have the log file, it's only 3K. And you just double click it, open it up in Notepad, you can see the information from the log file, you can see what it did there. So some useful information there as well. Okay, so now let's try and open our repaired file. Okay, enable the content. So here's our tables, our forms, and our reports that we saw from within here. So you can see everything looks good. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, very easy to use and very effective. And if you want to buy the program, you could just go and click on buy online, go right to the website and get the pricing. You have professional and technician. And it tells you what each one of these does here. Then you can decide which version works best for you. All right, so I'll put a link in the description. Then you could download the demo version and try it out. And if it's able to repair your corrupted database files, then you could just go ahead and buy yourself a key and get your data back. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.